Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new or just stumbling across my video, then my name is Rayanne Abbott. I'm an interior designer and I do lifestyle, fashion, beauty, cleaning, and vlog style videos. So if you like those types of videos, then I would love for you to subscribe. And with all of that said, let's jump into today's video. Puppy butt. Are you a puppy butt? Come here. You're such a cute puppy butt. So in today's video, I am going to be doing my May favorites. I have been doing monthly favorites for the past couple months since I started my YouTube channel. And I know that favorites videos are something that I enjoy watching, so I figured that I would do a couple for you. In this month's video, I have three fashion favorites for you guys. I have two hair-related products, two makeup products, and three other products for you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so for my first favorite for the month of May, if you have been following me on Instagram lately, then you know I have been really big into fitness for the past couple weeks. As you know, I am trying to get in shape for Kirby's wedding, which isn't until next year, but we might as well start now because I know it's not gonna be easy. I have been doing a lot of outdoor workouts lately and it's difficult for me to do an outdoor workout when I have my phone and my keys and my my headphones and all of this stuff that I have to take with me. So I decided that I had to go out and get a fanny pack. That's right, a fanny pack. Alex actually went out and got this one for me from Winners. And I just think it is so cute and it actually works so well for what it is needed to work for. It has this zipper on the back so you can put all of your like money and stuff like that in here we, Well, so it's up against your body. It has a pocket on the top and then a pocket in the front which is good because I usually put my phone in the front pocket along with anything that I would need to take out quickly like a hair tie or lip chap and then anything in here like my keys or my money or something like that that I'm obviously not gonna need while I'm running up the stairs. Anything that's really important goes on the back. I'm going to show you an image of it on just so you can see what that looks like. Alex got this from Winners for me for about $13 so it's definitely not expensive. It is from the brand Dickies. I definitely wanted to show this to you guys because I have been loving using this for running up the stairs. I think the stairs are about 202 steps to the top and we go up and down about eight times and we're trying to get to a goal of 15 by the end. So I needed something like this that I could take with me outside that wasn't gonna get in the way of me running up the stairs and make me feel any worse than I already do. So if you have been looking for a fanny pack or something to be using while you're running or working out outdoors, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, I think that it came in a blue and a black, if I'm not mistaken, and then this one is like an army green camo color, which normally I'm not usually about the camo green colors, but lately I have been actually getting more things that have this print on them. I think it's cute and it's different, edgy. So this is my first favorite for me. My second and third actually favorite in regards to working out outdoors. Um, it has been pretty hot for the past couple weeks and running up the stairs is already difficult enough. So doing it with pants on is even worse so i've decided to go out and get some shorts but if you are like me and are on the little bit of a thicker side especially in your leg area then you probably know what it feels like to have your thighs rubbed together as you are walking and there's no worse pain thighs rubbing together and we just don't need that if we are going to be working out and already struggling enough as it is so I went out and got a pair of shorts, also from Winners. And the thing that I love about these shorts is that they have this spandex lining on the inside. So these ones are pretty long, and then on the outside it's really loose. And I think that that has really helped me with that rub together fit sensation and obviously if you're running up the stairs and you're already in pain from running up the stairs then you don't want to be in pain because your thighs are rubbing together <laughs> and I know it's embarrassing but it's life and it happens and that's why we're running up the stairs they make it easy to walk in they are lightweight and airy so you don't feel like you're sweating anymore they are from the brand layer 8 and i got them in a large and i will also link these down below if i can find them and there's also a little pocket on the inside here 
but it's kind of it's weird because it's on the inside of the butt so you kind of have to like reach inside your pants if you want to put anything in there which is kind of part of the reason why i got the fanny pack because the shorts and the fanny pack work really well as a combo together so if you have been looking for a pair of shorts to go work out or even just to wear around the house or anything and you also have the problem of the thigh rub then i would definitely recommend these shorts so this is my second favorite for may and then i also got these pair of shorts too and these ones i wasn't going to get to actually run in because they don't actually have the liner like those ones do but i put them on and started dancing in them and my sister said automatically well you're dancing in them so you have to get them so i got them because i thought that they were cute and they made me happy so these ones are by the brand figure and it's like f-i-g-u-r figure activewear i think i will have these linked below also and they are super cute because they have this little detailing on the sides and i really like it when shorts kind of don't hug your butt and they kind of hang off of your butt cheek I just think that it, it's really attractive for some reason, I don't know. And then these ones have a pocket on the back also, but it's obviously not a pocket that you're gonna be able to put a lot of things in because it's kind of loose. So I wouldn't put like your phone or anything like that in here. But yeah, I thought these were really cute for summer, especially because they're airy. You could probably use these as like a bathing suit bottom too, because they're kind of that material of the bathing suit, but they're also really cute. So a lot of good options for shorts at winners. I love winners. I always find good stuff there. But the problem is, is that you can't get overwhelmed because I find that I walk in, look at all the stuff everywhere and instantly get overwhelmed. But if you do search through, you can find some pretty nice things in there. Next items are my makeup items. So I, as you know, in all of my favorites videos previous, I have been showing a different foundation and pretty much a different concealer in every single one. Um, I've learned that I just like to switch it up every month. So I'm just going to show you the two makeup items that I have been using this month. I'm honestly kind of sold on the foundation. This is the True Match Lumi from L'Oreal in the shade Nude Beige. I have been using this on a daily basis and I am absolutely loving it. There's no cake. It definitely helps with my shine. Um, I, I just love this. I love the coverage. I love the color, everything. This has been great so far. So I don't know if I'm gonna switch because this one is actually the first one that I've ever not felt like I needed to choose a different one or like try out something new. So I think we're gonna stick with this one for quite a while. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just really loving it. It has an SPF of 20 also, which is really good, if, especially if you're running outside. Not that you should have makeup on when you're running, but. And then I've also been using it with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I got it because it has the kind of turn cap on the top where you can just turn it and then it comes out the top and then you can just use that. I use this for the concealer under my eyes and then I use a beauty blender to touch that up. And these two together have been a really good duo for a kind of flawless looking face. So I would definitely recommend trying these out together if you are looking for a new foundation and concealer. Yeah, so these are my third favorites for May. I'll probably have a different makeup favorite for June because obviously I just can't stick with one makeup, so. Okay, so now I have two hair favorites for you that I have been using for the month of May. Um, this one I have shown before and if you watched my last vlog about the spa day, come to the spa with me. I got my blonde balayage put in my hair in that video and this is the color shampoo that Shanine was talking about in that video. And I've shown this to you guys before but since that video came out I thought that I would bring it back up. This is the best purple shampoo I have ever used. Ever. and this is because it has a toner in it and if you have watched that video then you've heard what she said about it but I just wanted to pull it out again so you guys can see what the bottle looks like um, and this is basically something that I use when I feel like my hair is turning a little bit yellow I will go and just shower with this I'll actually usually have a bath and then leave this in my hair for about 30 minutes while I bathe and then I wash it out and it just completely changes the color it's like you went into the salon and got a toner put in your hair and I've used a ton of purple shampoos and so far I would say that this is the best one yet so if you are looking for a purple shampoo I definitely would recommend this one usually when I put this in my hair I have people comment and ask me if I got my hair done and 
all the time i'm like mm, no i just washed it <laughs> and this is from celeb luxury and i will also have this one link below if you are looking for a new purple shampoo if you are like me and have really dry scalp then you probably don't wash your hair that often and because of that i have to use dry shampoo now if you watch erin williams she actually was just saying that her hairdresser told her if you put this in at the, the beginning of the wash cycle it will act as kind of like a a pre-precaution for when your hair starts to get greasy so i have been doing that lately with this and this is chlorine dry shampoo and it's kind of in french actually this is what it looks like it's kind of uh, it's in french so it's just a dry shampoo with oat milk it says cleans hair without water and this is what i got in the fab fit fun box a couple months ago and i haven't really used it until now but now that i'm using it Oh, I love it so much. It is awesome. It doesn't leave your hair looking greasy. I find that if I use a dry shampoo one day, it literally only lasts one day and then I have to wash it the next day. With this stuff, I find that I don't actually have to wash it the next day in order for it to still be not greasy. So I'm definitely going to be getting another bottle of this when this one runs out. I'm not sure how expensive it is. So I'm going to find it and I will leave a link below so you can see the price. But if you are looking for a new dry shampoo, I would definitely recommend this one. It doesn't leave any white spots in your hair anywhere. It doesn't look like that typical dry shampoo treated hair. And I, I don't know how to explain what that looks like, but to me, when I use dry shampoo, you can tell that it's like, oh, you haven't washed your hair, but you, you tried to cover it up, you know? Whereas this one, it kind of leaves it like texturized, so it, it doesn't look greasy at all. So I definitely have been loving this, and especially when you're lazy like I am and you don't want to wash your hair. And it's not even that I don't want to wash my hair. I just don't want to dry my hair because it takes hours. Last but not least, I have two body related products that I have been using for the month of May. My skin on my face was really, really dry for a couple months. And I don't know if that's just because of the weather and it's just better now because it's a little bit more humid outside. I'm, I'm not sure, but I decided to go and get some toner and this is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Toner with Moisture Rich Soy Extract. It gently refreshes the skin without causing tightness. And I have actually been using this after I shower and cleanse my face. I will put this on before I moisturize. Um, and I found that it's actually been really helping with my kind of brown spots that I have after I have really dry skin in those areas. And I never really used a toner before. I wasn't the type of person to use a toner. And I'm not sure why, but it just wasn't part of my routine. So now I've added this to my routine and my face has been flawless. There, there's no spots anywhere. I don't know, it, it just, it's been working really well. So I figured that I would show it to you guys. I just keep cotton pads at my vanity area and then I put this on with the cotton, cotton pads. And I've had a lot of people comment since I've been using this that I shouldn't be wearing foundation because there's no point, but I've just used it my whole life. So you can't change me guys. You just can't. So yeah, I would definitely check out this toner if you are looking for a brand new toner to use. And last but not least, this is my favorite item that I have been using for the month of May. If you have watched my previous favorites videos, then you know I was using the Bath & Body Works body butter. And that was like the be all end all lotion that I was using. And I was never gonna change. I was never gonna give it up. It was the best thing ever. And after I made that favorites video, they discontinued the entire True Blue line at Bath & Body Works. So because of that reason, I went back to my tried and true, which I have used for a very long time, especially before I was using the Bath & Body Works True Blue stuff, I was using this product. So I've gone back to it just because Bath & Body Works has failed me. So this is the, the Lemongrass Body Butter from Rocky Mountain Soap Company. And it pretty much looks like a deodorant stick and it turns up like this, but you put it all over your entire body. And how I use it is I shower and then I put it all over my entire body. I use this on my face and it doesn't break me out. I have one in my vanity area. I have one usually in my gym bag. I have one at work. Like it's, it's so easy and simple to use and it smells oh god it smells so good it smells amazing and it's soft and and it's just great and the people at rocky mountain soap company are always so helpful and as soon as you walk in the door they make you feel like family so i love going there and i love getting things like this they have all sorts of different things at rocky mountain soap company that you probably will get roped into buying because they're just awesome and you're like oh i need that in my life it is 71 percent organic and 100 percent 
natural and toxin free. So I would definitely recommend this lotion if you are looking for a brand new one, especially because the Bath and Body Works one is no longer. You suck. So that is it for my favorites for the month of May. Make sure to check the description box below to see all the links of the items that I've shown in this video. And let me know in the comments what your favorites have been for May. And maybe I will find another favorite for the month of June from your comments below. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.